Crouch cancelling is a long-standing technique in Melee that's becoming more and more essential in top-level play over the last few years. If you're not already aware, when a player is crouching, they can reduce the knockback of a move by one-third simply by holding down on the control stick. This allows you to punish your opponent even though they got a solid hit on you, which is a mechanic fairly unique to Melee. One particularly useful application of this technique is to crouch cancel your opponent's getup attack. Getup attacks are fairly weak in general, so they allow you to crouch cancel them even up to a high percent. For fast characters like Captain Falcon, crouch cancelling getup attack can effectively cover every single option your opponent has after they're knocked down. This video will explore the many nuances of getup attack in general and how different characters can punish it by using crouch cancel. If you're an experienced player thinking, I already know how to CC getup attacks, keep watching, I think you'll learn something you didn't know. Okay, so if a player fails to attack after getting knocked down in melee, they'll land on the stage and have access to a few options. These options are to regular getup, roll to the left, roll to the right, and getup attack. Since getup attacks are a common option across all levels of play, this means it's very useful to know how to punish it, and crouch cancelling it is one method. So let's see the power of crouch cancelling getup attack in action. While this interaction didn't look like anything special, by crouching next to his opponent, Wizrobe is able to react to every option M2K has on the ground, as he could dash out of crouch to catch a roll to the left or the right, dash forward and grab if he regular getups, and CC a potential getup attack into a grab, which is what happened. Because this technique is particularly useful, we see Wizrobe using it again in this scenario, although this time, M2K chooses not to getup attack and instead does a regular getup. This scenario demonstrates why this technique is so powerful, as it removes the getup attack's ability to knock Wizrobe down, allowing him to cover every option. However, crouch cancelling is not unstoppable. Most moves in melee can only be CC'd until a specific percent, at which point they'll send you into hit stun or tumble like any other move would. This means knowing the specific percents where you can crouch cancel your opponent's attack is extremely useful. Unfortunately, this requires a lot of memorization, as most attacks in melee are very different. For example, just because Fox can crouch cancel Sheik's dash attack until 60% does not mean Fox can crouch cancel Peach's dash attack anywhere even close to that percent. So learning all the different percents is super difficult, which means most players just guess or learn a rough range that works most of the time. However, what most players are unaware of is that getup attacks in melee are less unique. This is because while the start lag, end lag, invincibility, and range of a getup attack can vary, the hitbox properties of these attacks are shared across the majority of the cast. What I mean by this is, if you look at this graphic, Fox and Marth have very different frame data for their getup attacks. However, when you look at the move data, they're exactly the same, and this holds true for almost the entire cast. In fact, if you learn a single number, you'll be able to crouch cancel the getup attacks of 21 out of 26 characters in the game, which is pretty crazy. So how is this possible? Let's get some stuff clear first. Of the 26 characters in the game, 16 of them share the same hitbox properties for their getup attack. So, if you know how to crouch cancel Fox's getup attack, for example, you'll be able to crouch cancel all the other characters on the screen. However, the Mario Brothers and Ness also have this hitbox, but they have a second one that's different. Thankfully, this hitbox is even weaker than the normal one. So, because you can't know which hitbox you'll get hit by, you have to assume you're going to get hit by the strongest one when you're fighting the Mario Brothers or Ness. Because you can ignore the weaker hitbox, this allows you to lump them in together and make it 21 out of 26 characters that you need to know a single number for to be able to crouch cancel their getup attack. So if you want to find the specific number for your character where you can crouch cancel 21 out of 26 characters getup attacks, I've linked a spreadsheet in the video description. However, this spreadsheet is pretty complex and covers a lot more than I'm going to cover in this video. So I'm going to make a second video explaining how I got the data that I did, how I got the numbers, and how to use the spreadsheet beyond the simple stuff. But check that out in the video description. Okay, so now that you know how long you can CC getup attack, let's look at some common punishes for different characters. To start us off, the characters that benefit the most from this probably are Captain Falcon and Fox because they're so fast they can crouch and then try to cover every option on reaction. Both of them punish best by just crouching and then grabbing, or crouching and forward smashing. So Martha is slower than Captain Falcon and Fox, so he can't react to everything, but the way he punishes is the same. He just uses a forward smash or a grab. So personally I prefer to grab, because while F smash works against a lot of characters, while I was testing it, I noticed it didn't work against everyone, which you can see in this clip. Why isn't it hitting? Isn't this blowing your mind? Like, doesn't this look, look like... Okay, wait. I'm amazed this isn't hitting. What the f So Falco's best punish is usually with a forward smash, although grab is decent too, it's just sometimes you won't get a follow-up off of it, so you have to weigh your options. If you can't already tell, 
tons of characters punished with either a grab or a forward smash, and everyone that you're seeing on screen is one of those examples. However, there are a couple exceptions where people have more options or better options. If you have a big brain, you can charge shot after a getup attack, but this is also because Samus's grab is pretty slow, and her low traction pushes her away so she can't really do other moves. So Peach can also grab, but her grab range is pretty small, so it's pretty easy to miss, especially if your opponent has a lot of range on their getup attack. That's why I'd recommend dash attack, just because it can combo off of mid percents and high percents, and it's easier to execute. This technique is pretty good for Ganon because he can grab at low percents and use his down B to even kill at high percents. Sheik is a character with a ton of options off of the crouch cancel getup attack. She can grab, but she can also F tilt or down tilt like you can see here, and these can set up for kills depending on the percent. She can also dash attack because her dash attack is amazing, so really you just need to figure out based on the matchup what's best. Usually grab is a pretty safe bet, but experiment and figure out what works for you. Okay, if you're sitting at home and you're a Luigi or Icy's main, you're probably wondering why I haven't mentioned your character or shown it on screen. Well, I have some bad news for you and it has to do with traction. Rather than explaining it, I'll just show you the clip and you'll understand. As you can see, there's no practical punish after crouch cancelling a getup attack because the low traction of Icy's pushes them too far to follow up on it. This is even worse for Luigi. Okay, now that we know the common ways to punish, what about those five characters that didn't fall under that 21 person umbrella? Well, those characters are Jigglypuff, Samus, Zelda, Peach, and Mewtwo. Okay, so for Jigglypuff and Samus, their getup attack is slightly stronger than most characters, which makes the crouch cancelling percent significantly lower, and I've recorded that in the spreadsheet. Since I'm sure there's someone out there complaining about Jigglypuff, it's worth mentioning that while her getup attack is stronger, she has 15 frames of invincibility on her back getup attack, while as most characters have 26, so it's a trade-off. In the case of Peach and Zelda, both of their getup attacks are quite a bit weaker than the standard getup attack, so you could theoretically learn the percents for the 21 out of 26 characters and then just add Peach and Zelda to it because that guarantees you'd be able to CC their attack as well. However, it's actually quite a bit weaker depending on the hitbox that connects, so it's not unreasonable to focus on the matchup and learn the percents specific for those two characters. Okay, finally we have Mewtwo. Mewtwo is slightly stronger than most characters' getup attacks and slightly weaker than Puff's, but he's just weird. He has an electric effect on his getup attack, which literally no other character has, much like Captain Falcon's knee, and he's just kind of in this weird range where you'd have to learn specific percents to his character. If you want to do that, go ahead. Alright guys, so the final thing that I wanted to cover was that with getup attacks, I noticed while testing that sometimes you get hit by one attack and sometimes you can get hit twice. And so this has a lot to do with position and the character specifically. But the way I worked around this is I just assume that you're always going to get hit twice in the spreadsheet. So obviously I'll go into this in more detail in the second video explaining how to use the spreadsheet. But this is the reason why there's a double hit and single hit column. So for example, if you're a Fox player, um, you're guaranteed to be able to CC both hits until 84%, but if you only get hit by one hit, you're able to CC it until 90. So 84% is the number that's like a good catch-all number that'll cover 21 characters. However, if you're the reason why you're able to sometimes push past that is because you're only getting hit by one hit. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Micro Melee. I know I was a bit behind schedule this time, and that's largely due to working pretty crazy overtime hours at work and having to collect almost all the information in this video independently and test it independently with the help of my friend Evan Oliver. So huge shout outs to him. If you guys like the channel, subscribing, liking the video, hitting the bell, all those things really help. And if you really want to support the project, you can go to patreon.com slash michaelradar. I've actually been super impressed with all the people that have been supporting it so far. So shout outs to Joseph Escobar, Shadow Ninja, and John Drum, and all the other smaller supporters. Even a dollar a month goes a long way. So thanks to all of you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.